All right, everyone. So the Stone Ocean anime ending. It was absolutely amazing. A lot of people were wondering how well the anime could have adapted the ending and whether or not they would add any extra scenes. But man, the ending was absolutely beautiful. Well, just saying that there weren't really any extra scenes, which I know some people really wanted, but I feel like what they made was really good in and of itself. So there wasn't really any need to change much. First of all, we should probably talk about how amazing the buildup that led to such an amazing scene was. The way they animated Emporio vs. Pucci was really cool. I'm a big fan of how Made in Heaven was shown in the anime. I really liked the effect it had going for it. It's like, like it turned out really well, just like in the manga. Honestly, even better in the anime just because of the medium itself. And yeah, the scene was definitely given justice. But for the actual final scene itself, I'm a big fan of how they didn't show Ernie's face for a while, just to show the sheer amazement that Emporio must have been feeling. And yeah, just all the character introductions were beautiful. Okay, okay. We, we have to talk about the my name is Emporio scene. And just, wow. Th this was a scene that was being hyped for the anime for years. N no. Maybe even decades. I bet people were hyped about an anime back in 2003 because this scene was just so beautiful. <laughs> and man, did they deliver in the anime. Because you know, it, it was really sad and it was acted out perfectly. And I, be I bet tons of anime only fans will cry to this scene or at least just show sympathy with Emporio. Like, there was just so much emotion in the scene, and I applaud Tanizaki Atsumi for giving the scene so much justice. Because it was just as sad and emotional here as it was in the manga. She really did put her heart into this scene, and it was, it was just amazing. The thing that people have been hyping for years, it went really well. Now, something to talk about that was really cool is the final image of Stone Ocean. Many people over the years have complained about how Foo Fighters wasn't there. And I'm happy to inform all of you that Foo Fighters is indeed in the anime version for this final picture. It was amazing and I'm glad that she is getting that spotlight that she didn't get previously. Something else that was absolutely amazing was the use of Distant Dreamer for this ending. The ending being used here was such an amazing decision since this is where Emporio found out that everyone is fine and that they were able to escape the fate and of Pucci. Like the song Distant Dreamer really does represent the cast of Stone Ocean really well and I'm glad they did use it here. Like, it is pretty sad that Distant Dreamer was the ending for all of Stone Ocean, but it being used for this scene specifically works really well for the narrative. Like the 8.1% of my audience subscribed to my channel. But wait, if they used Distant Dreamer here, what did they use as the ending for the last episode? Now, this is probably the best thing to happen in all of Stone Ocean. Maybe even in all of JoJo so far. But can we talk about how the very end of the series of the original universe had Roundabout for the ending? Roundabout. They went all the way back to the beginning. That's so hype. Like when the little tuning of the guitar stuff happened while seeing Emporio with everyone else seeing Weather Report as a hitchhiker. <laughs> it was so hype, dude. I was jumping out of my seat. They went all the way back to the beginning. It was truly incredible. And they really made it super sad and definitely lived up to the hype that many people had for years. The fact that the ending itself also referenced every past part and had silhouettes of the characters. It's really similar to the amount of hype that people have for Jojo Lands, the ninth part of Jojo and the Jojo magazine coming this month probably hinted at Jojo Lands, so watch this video. <laughs> 